Well, what's up again guys, Brian here at 3TR and I'm here to present to you my official move review for the newest installment in the Mission Impossible franchise titled Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Now this movie was directed by Christopher McQuarrie and stars a really awesome cast of Tom Cruise, Jeremy Renner, Simon Pegg and Rebecca Ferguson. And the plot of this movie has Ethan Hunt kind of going across the globe in order to track down and expose a secret organization known as the Syndicate. However, due to the recent actions of those protocol, the IMF is now disbanded, which means that Ethan Hunt has very, very little resources and has to do a lot of the tracking down of the Syndicate by himself until he recruits one of his old teammates. And from that point on, it's just a constant chain of Ethan Hunt and his friend going from place to place in order to find specific clues to find out and expose the Syndicate. Now, what did I think of it overall? Without question, Miss Impossible Rogue Nation is a very, very fun film. However, I think overall it does take a slight back step to Ghost Protocol. Now, I'm going to go over the good. Number one, Tom Cruise, incredible. Incredible actor, incredible action star, and I would even go so far as to say he's an incredible stuntman himself. The action set pieces in this film are absolutely incredible, and I would even say they're on par with the action scenes that we saw in Mad Max Fury Road. I can't really decide which ones are better, uh, but I don't know, that would be a, a good debate video, I would say. And I'm happy to say that uh, Ethan Hunt is not really downgraded in terms of his character and there is one particular scene where they kind of go a little in depth of like you know maybe Ethan's a hallucinating and I did like that little twist that they did add in the film. Uh, it's nice to see Simon Pegg Peg get a much bigger role in this film because it seems like they've definitely upgraded from just being the tech analyst to being a full agent. Uh, and I thought Simon Pegg and Tom Cruise worked really, really well together. They have amazing chemistry on screen, and you can definitely tell that their characters bring out the best in themselves. The real big surprise, in my opinion, was uh, Rebecca Ferguson, as she is a very, very interesting character. And what makes her character, for, at least for me, stand out is the fact that you're never really sure whose side she's actually on. Um, and one thing that I really do appreciate in terms of her character is they didn't try to over-sexualize her or make her the love interest of Ethan Hunt. And they show that even though she is a woman, she is a very formidable spy and agent and can be difficult and can find herself in really difficult situations and she has to work for it, as opposed to being a, either a damsel in distress or being a fallout tomboy, which is something I'm kind of not to you know, attracted to, in my opinion. Now, I'm not to say that the movie is perfect. There are definitely some problems. For one, the reason I say this movie takes a really serious back step from Ghost Protocol is that it doesn't really focus too much on the team as it did in Ghost Protocol. It's very much just Ethan Hunt and Simon Pegg's character, Benji. It's, I mean, the rest of the film, they have Rebecca Ferguson's character kind of come with them, but every once in a while something happens and they get separated and then they have to reconnect and they do that multiple times throughout the film and that started to get really, really annoying. And I was actually a bit surprised that Jeremy Renner was actually downgraded this time around and he has very less to do in this film. I mean, he's in the film, but he's kind of been reduced to a behind the scenes type of guy and very rarely gets his hands dirty or even in the actions, which really surprised me because this was the guy who's supposed to replace Tom Cruise in this franchise, and it seems like at this point it's never going to happen. And one thing I really just didn't like is they had a very, very weak villain. I mean, they tried to justify his motives by, you know, going on to a little bit of his backstory, but I just didn't really like the actor's portrayal of his character, and I really didn't like how he was talking. He was like, talking in a really downgrade voice where his monotone doesn't change and you can't tell if he's either angry or absurd or getting frustrated and, it, and, and I'm telling you if if I was in the room with this guy I probably wouldn't be able to hear what he was saying unless I was like right next to him I mean it, it the, the monotone of his voice was just that much annoying now I will say this if you're a fan of these action type films you're absolutely going to enjoy this film from beginning to end it's very fast paced they don't spend a lot of time developing the characters but they do spend a good amount of time at least developing the relationship between Ethan Hunt and his team members despite the fact that they don't really spend a lot of time actually bringing the full team together if I have to give this movie a rating I'm going to give Mission Impossible Rogue Nation 
a B plus. Not as good as Ghost Protocol, but definitely a very fun film that you can see this summer and is quite enjoyable to see with your friends. If you like this movie review, feel free to like, comment down below, and please subscribe to check me in my future movie reviews. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome, and I will see you next time.